SSH is a popular way of logging in and administering a computer. And today, we'll explore a tool that allows you to spy on other users' SSH sessions on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. SSH, or the Secure Shell, is a way of logging into computers to administer them remotely. And while this does encrypt your information against remote attackers who might be sniffing the traffic, it doesn't necessarily keep your session safe from someone who has access to the terminal you're logged into. Now what I mean by this is that if you happen to get access to a computer that other users are SSH into, it is trivially easy to break into their SSH session, start seeing what they're doing, record it, and even start injecting your own commands. Now to do this, we're going to be using a tool called SSH Pry. And this is a really awesome Python tool that allows you to not only see what they're doing, but type in and maybe even communicate with someone remotely if you really wanted to do that via a variety of different interesting methods. Now, aside from being able to simply list all the active SSH sessions, you can also choose to record them. And today, we just need to have Python installed on our computer in order to try out this great tool. Once you have that installed, you can also check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description in case you get confused and need to do some troubleshooting. Once you have that and Python set up, then we can begin. Today, we're going to explore a tool that can be used in a couple of different ways. And one might be that you're concerned someone is SSH into your computer and you want to see if anyone else is in there with you. Another might be you're on a public computer and you're a penetration tester and you want to get into other people's SSH sessions, see what they're doing, and even inject a couple of your own commands when they're not paying attention. Now, I like this tool here called SSH Pry. And as you can see from the expansive documentation, there's a lot of different ways to get started and there's a lot of different commands you can do. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and clone and download this. And it's important to note that you need to have this uh, installed on the computer in which you want to explore SSH sessions on. So if I'm on my host computer and I'm SSHing into a uh, server computer off in the distance, I would need to install this on the server computer because I'm looking to find other people logged into that computer, not my own computer. So keep that in mind that you need to install this on the computer that you're looking to examine SSH sessions in, not the computer that you is your host computer if you're kind of SSHing in somewhere else. So two different scenarios, either run this on your own computer or run this on a computer that you have remote access to to see who else is in there with you and even get in on their sessions. So you can see it has a built-in keylogger. Uh, you can do console level phishing. It's all really, really cool. So let's go ahead and go into a terminal window. And we're going to see two different terminals here. One of them is logged into my Mac OS computer and the other one is logged into our Ubuntu computer. And I'm going to first type git clone and then the address here. And you can see that it already exists on my system, but on yours, it should go ahead and install. And I'll type cd ssh pry ls. And we can see that there's already some, some stuff in here, but in general, this is the thing that you need to be looking for, ssh pry 2.py. Now it says that the way to run this is a uh, period slash ssh pry 2.py, but if you try to do that, it will not work. So this abbreviated how to while uh, synced is not necessarily accurate because if I run this, it's just going to fail. So instead, what we'll do is sudo python, not python3, and then we'll try this again. And let's see if we get a different result. OK, so now we can see that we're still not where we want to be, but we are to the point that we can see that there is a auto option as well as a list option. So let's go ahead and run this again and run the list option to see if there's anybody else SSH into this computer with us. So, all right, there is. So we can see there are two active SSH connections. And if we want to try to uh, see, oh, and we can see that one of them is ours. Now we don't want to go into ours. So what I'm going to do is attempt to go into another user's SSH session via auto. And what we'll do is we'll try to eventually, after looking at what they're doing, kick them out by running a command that will sever their connection to the server. Now I'm going to run sudo python ssh pry2 and auto. 
And here we go. We have dropped into another user's SSH session. I'm not doing anything. And they similarly don't know that I am now watching them. So it looks like they're trying to do something with pictures and they're seeding into other directories. And now they're even starting to communicate back to us. But what I can do that's a little interesting is I can start to run commands. So let's say that they're looking away for a second, they're looking something up, and I wanna know who this user is. I mean, I can see its root, but if I wanted to run my own commands, just like, who am I? I just ran that, not them. So they might be a little confused by that, but maybe maybe they, maybe they uh, you know, ran it themselves. But if I want to then do something like kick them out, the way I could do that would just be by writing exit. Now they are kicked out, I'm still logged in, and I have the really easy option to kick anybody else out of the server that I don't want logged in. Now on the other end, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from the user perspective. So if I'm just somebody who's logging in uh, SSH tour at 192 168 type in the password, and I'm in, okay, cool. So I'm gonna alas and do whatever, but now I'll go ahead and run this tool again. And it should see exactly what the attacker would see. So now as soon as I run a command, I can do run a beep command, make the computer beep, and I can see from my attacker window, I can see a mirrored view of everything that's going on and even insert commands two ways. So this is also kind of a creative way that you could communicate with another person if you're both logged into the same system without actually kind of directly communicating. By dropping in on their SSH session and communicating by just writing in to the same window, you can clandestinely communicate or simply spy on what someone's doing and try to pick up things like passwords and maybe even do some console level phishing where you're trying to get them to execute malicious commands or direct them into the wrong directory. While SSH is definitely more secure to connect to a remote computer with than Telnet, it shouldn't lure you into thinking that other users on that same computer you're logged into can't see exactly what you're doing and what you're into when you're using the terminal on that computer. Now, you should make sure that you're not typing in anything too private on a system with shared access, because if SSH Pry is any example, it is trivially easy to break in and see exactly what's going on in any number of open SSH sessions. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you get stuck, you can check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description for any troubleshooting. If you have any ideas for future episodes, send me a message on Twitter at Cody Kinsey, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.